subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are shopping Still Good Consignments. They're located in North Houston on Luetta Road. And they have newly expanded to 21,000 square feet of furniture, decor, tabletop, artwork, along with jewelry and designer handbags. Come along for some treasures today. It's always a pleasure to be back at Still Good. A family owned business since 2005, they have something for every style and budget. Their inventory includes items from local designers, model homes, factory closeouts, and beautiful homes and estates in the area. And they carry contemporary, classic, antique, and vintage furniture, along with so many other categories. And you never know what you'll find. New items arrive daily. I'm glad to take you inside the newly expanded Still Good Consignments. I shop this store for two reasons, value and variety. That's something you cannot get in a box store and so many brands under one roof. We're going to see an often overlooked French glass along with some great gifts, creative uses for our favorite tabletop essentials and more. Let's get started with the French crystal. You definitely will want to look in the glass cases near the register. There's a collection that is quite familiar and an item that I have not actually seen before, although I'm familiar with the brand. Isn't that a beautiful rose bowl? Quite unique with the wooden base. The initial price is $378 and of course, the longer it's in the shop, the better price you get. This opalescent vase is in the Art Deco style with the raised relief with the honeycombs and bees. It's appropriately called Les Abeilles, the Bees, in French. It is made by the Sabino Glass Company. And Mr. Marius Ernest Sabino emigrated from Sicily at the age of four to France. And he fought for the French in World War I. And there he was exposed to the beginnings of electricity in that industry. And he started working making lamps, lampshades, and glass panels. And we have some beautiful Sabino pieces still today. And keep in mind when you are consignment shopping, you may not find these brands and collections in local stores. Limoges boxes are timeless creations that cover many areas of interest. A great way to start a collection or to find a really nice and affordable gift at a consignment store. This coffee pot is only $42. And for the home chef in your life, wouldn't that be a great gift? And each piece is marked pain main, which means hand painted. And if you'd like to learn more about Limoges boxes and see my collection, I invite you to watch a previous segment on my Limoges boxes, including the history and how kaolin was found in Europe so that we could produce these lovely pieces. This is a lovely celestial box, Goodbye 1999 and Hello 2000. And with a sun insert inside, that would be perfect for my Millennium Baby, who is my sunshine girl. This has gone down to 5880. And that would be a steal. I may have to add that to my collection. And now we're going to one of my favorite sections of the store. You guessed it, Waterford Crystal. That is an amazing wall of Waterford. There's always something to discover, either a familiar pattern or a great gift. And so many of these stemware patterns remind me of my tenure at Waterford Crystal, the candlesticks, classic. I personally prefer the older Waterford. It is a better craftsmanship. It is from Ireland. This is Hanover Gold, which was the very popular bridal pattern, marquee by Waterford, and statement bowls. Consignment shopping makes it affordable to be able to gift Waterford Crystal. And here I've pulled some items together under $50. The heart ring holder, which is retired, is now $30. That would make a great gift. And ring holders can even be placed in the kitchen when you're cooking and you want to take your wedding rings off. It's definitely a practical item. 
And the Karina Bowl is sweet. Let's see how much this is today. $28.80 for Waterford Crystal. Of course, you can include some of your favorite uses for a bowl to make it interesting. And Waterford Crystal used to have a Waterford Society that was launched in 1994. This was the first gift with your society membership, and this is the second. And these posy vases are very well priced, and they are $27 today. And if you're looking for something for a tabletop essential, a Waterford Crystal Sugar and Creamer, and very well priced. And of course, you could use these separately as well. And this is down to $49.50. You can often tell the age of Waterford when looking at the sticker, if you happen to be so lucky and find the original one, and that probably means it wasn't used. And the sugar and creamer set, I would say, is probably from the 1960s. Take a look at that stamp, Waterford Glass United, handmade in the Republic of Ireland. The Hanover Gold was the number one bridal pattern for Marquis by Waterford in the 90s. They also made it in platinum. It's a beautiful pattern, long since discontinued, and they retailed at $39.50 in the 90s, $1.95 for eight goblets. That's a very fair price for the secondary market. The Benjamin Franklin Bowl is part of the America's Heritage Collection, also from the 90s, and that sunrise is seen in the chairs at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. A lot of meaning behind that. And the price is right at 102. And now we're going to see some other areas of the store also with some vintage glass. Continuing our great gifts for under $50 is this Heise Lariat platter. It's got a sterling silver overlay. It's at the last price, $24.50. You could even place a compote in the center. You could do lots with this plate. And it has that Heise diamond logo in the center. Another great item, a compote. You know I featured a segment on compotes. Lots of ideas there. And this is $18. Beautiful. You could place something there or just give it as is. And the Cambridge Keyhole Candle Holders. I think this is the best deal today. And the price is $32 for the pair. And they are etched beautifully. Some great gift ideas for under 50. The Waterford Crystal Biscuit Barrel, one of my favorite items. This is well priced at $115 and it retails for about $350. I'm going to share with you a creative use. And you'll see some dining sets along the way. You could outfit an entire home in this shop. This Kelly patterned Waterford Crystal Biscuit Barrel has many uses. You could place cotton balls inside, place it on your vanity and of course cookies for the intended purpose and you could also place a napkin inside and fill it with breadsticks it could even be part of the centerpiece on your table i have an idea to use this with candy canes let me show you fill your biscuit barrel with candy canes to celebrate the season and if you want to get even more creative you could place a small cylinder vase in the center and fill it with flowers and that would be a nice centerpiece and the lids are made for each piece, so you certainly don't want to lose that. Stow it away for the next season. A lovely assortment of rose bowls. And you'll see that they each have different cuts, different sizes. And when you're building a collection of rose bowls, whether you display them together or use them separately throughout your home, you'll want to have some variety. They're just so beautiful. And I would say that these are all European. And the openings are different sizes. That's one thing to consider. What will you use this for? And if you're using it maybe for flowers, you want to choose a smaller opening so that it doesn't overwhelm the piece. And this is $74. They also have some for $24. Just depends on the size. And of course, the maker's mark. You'll want to turn it over. And renowned crystal manufacturers normally mark their pieces with a logo or signature on the bottom. This is a beautiful one. It almost looks like Waterford Crystal but you'll see the notched rim, and that is not indicative of Waterford. This etched one is absolutely exquisite. That is not too common to find that, and it is $43.20. And they have some nativities here in this area. There's so much to see in the store. You may wanna shop, have lunch, and come back and regroup. There's that familiar old Britain castles from Johnson Brothers also a pattern that I enjoy. And I'm liking the rim of this rose bowl. You'll see that it is more abstract. 
It's $45 and that is quite unusual. Kind of has a modern look to it. They've got a great selection of rose bowls, one of my favorite tabletop essentials. And I'm going to share a creative use for this all important vessel. The rose bowl is one of my favorite tabletop essentials. Once you place flowers inside, it doesn't stand too tall and you can still have great conversation across the table. And you can certainly place a candle inside or some artificial snow with fairy lights and create a Christmas village. It's a very purposeful piece. And I like to use mine for toothbrushes on the vanity. And here's my favorite use. Who wants to have a Kleenex box like this in their home? You can certainly use your favorite rose bowl you take a stack of tissues from inside this box, place it inside the rose bowl, and then pull up one tissue, and there you go. Another practical purpose for this essential rose bowl. I would love to hear from you in the comments how you might utilize rose bowls in your home so that I can learn some new ideas. And here is a masterpiece. This is a very large Jillian Lee original and it is signed in oil on canvas, and you'll see it is set in black matte with a gray frame and silver accents. And the initial price is $2,025. It is almost 80 inches high and would be a showstopper. Look at that frame. Absolutely a wonderful piece of art, especially if you are trying to make a statement in your living room or a hallway. And this piece is interesting to me. As a child, I always wanted something to display a collection. And this is an antique version. And I quite like that blue. It's $295. Here's a look at the store from one end to the other. There's just so much to see here. And I always look forward to seeing that bicycle hanging. It's unexpected, which makes it so interesting. And a bit of nature here today. And as we get closer, you'll notice that no animal was harmed in this presentation here. And if you're looking for a moose to add to your home decor, they've got it here for you, $120. Oh dear, this is definitely the unexpected here today. And that actually is quite an interesting piece. You could dress it up for Christmas. Can you just imagine if you put a sleigh behind him and that could be a focal point on a maybe a front porch if you lived in the country, just love it. Still Good also has some unusual items. This is from Blue Deer and it's complete with the grooming kit and the original box. The initial price is $798. If you have a mountain home, this would be a perfect addition. Always follow the light. You'll find wonderful things, especially in this shop. Look at all the light dancing with the prisms. Just love the detail here, and I'm not sure if this is vintage or reproduction, but it would look great in your home. Be sure to look up when you're shopping a consignment store. You may find the perfect chandelier for your dining room. And this is actually an oval shape, which is quite unusual. $1,995 for the initial price. Whether you call it a love seat or a settee, this one is quite elegant and regal with that beige and gold velvet stripe and the blackwood frame, along with that single seat brown velvet. Just love it. And I can see this even being in a modern home that could be an eclectic look. And of course, definitely with traditional. And it looks quite comfortable. We'll have to take a seat and tell you all about it. And that one, it looks like sold rather quickly. They've got great furnishings as well. And this love seat would fit in just about any room of your home, including an entryway or a bedroom. It is from Masood. It's actually sold. It is $1,100 and someone is going to take this home. They have lots of living areas set up throughout the store so that you can get an idea of mixing the vintage or antique with a bit of a contemporary look. It's sort of eclectic and it gives you some ideas just absolutely a wonderful assortment. And if you have a second home that you're trying to furnish, this definitely would be an affordable option for you to have an interesting look. A friend shops here often for her rental properties, for her offices, and that's definitely a, a unique way to shop. Dovetail drawers, lots of detail on this piece. 
This beautiful sideboard has three drawers and three doors. And inside you will see lots of shelves. This would be great storage for your tabletop collection, or you can place it in a bedroom and use it as a dresser. I wanted to give you an idea of a walkthrough still good. And here you'll see the colorful glass that's positioned quite nicely for the natural sunlight, a Duncan Fife, buffet, and the dining sets are from all different styles and eras. They even have stained glass pieces and a fabulous furniture find. This is one that I've not seen before in person. We're going to take a look at this. Another great furniture find. This is from the 19th century. It is a Gothic style carved court cabinet. It would retail for about 2,500 on the secondary market and it's down to $1,172. It's got great storage inside and this could go in a living, dining, or even an entryway if you had the space. A great example of arts and crafts furniture. And you could even leave those sliding doors open and place something of interest inside. I'm imagining you could store dishes or even table linens. Really ample space for just about anything. And look at that detail and the quality, of course. You can't get that today. And something a bit more contemporary. And if you have a smaller space, this would certainly work well. If you're looking for a new dining room set, perhaps you're changing your style, consignment shopping is your best bet. Here is a Lexington in the Kensington style, and it's actually gone down to $990 with these leather chairs. This would be a great addition to your modern look. And of course, you can watch this table over time if you're willing to uh, chance it, that it might still be here as the price continues to go down. And it does come with two leaves as well. And they give you the retail price so that you can make a really good buying decision, which I appreciate. Let's take a look at the expansion. Now there are 21,000 square feet here of treasures, of course. Wall of China on either side. And come on in here for some seasonal furniture and lots of home accessories. Nice. A quick look at some of the china. There's a Ralph Lauren plaid and floral pattern that's been retired for some years. And now we'll pop back into the new area of the store. It goes on for miles with lots of seasonal items here. And I will tell you it's a lot less crowded here than Hobby Lobby if you're looking to add some holiday decor and nutcrackers. That Fisherman is actually a Steinbach. And they even have some floral picks and other things. It's not just about um, some of the larger pieces. I love these snowmen. They're so friendly. Let's see how much they are today. $20. That's actually a good price for your entry table or your buffet. A bit of whimsy. These Santas are neat. And that's certainly we go well with just about any look for the holidays. And he's carrying a bear and some wrapped presents. You could even add some and embellish it and place a surprise there. And that is $88, gone down to $79.20. And these Santas are a bit more designer. Some of these are even signed. Looks like a Victorian Santa. And it's the detail that really makes it. And this one comes with a box. It's $220. This one is my absolute favorite. I thought about grabbing this, taking it to Germany, but it's a little out of my price range right now. It reminds me more of a European. It's gone down to $236 and it was signed. And there's some modern furniture and for the home office, I see lots of comfortable chairs I might want to try out. Let's see how much this one is. It's Ethan Allen, 1,365. And that's for a pair of chairs. Okay, Goldilocks, let me try it out. It is quite nice. And I like the, the pin tucks there too. And bar stools, it's actually not easy to find these. We've shopped for the college kids. Of course, nothing quite as nice. 2,350. And they give you the designer as well. Dara and you'll see they utilize all their space here. We've got some trees at the top. 
and chairs on a shelf. And I like those pops of blue there. And artwork. There's a lot to see there as well. And the pillows go on for miles. They have so many throughout the store. And if you've ever priced designer decorative pillows, they can be $50 and up. I've even spent a lot more than that. And the prices are right here. And you find quite a nice variety. I'm loving the chartreuse and the brown, the green. And that's gone down to $14.40 a pillow. What a deal. They even have a bar there quite modern outdoor patio furniture and a lovely Victorian table. Reminds me of the marble top table my grandmother had. And it is $252. That could be for a bedroom, sitting room, living area. Absolutely love this. So much detail and history attached to it. This looks a bit mid-century modern, kind of a remake of that with a chenille. And I might have to try out this chair too. Yes, that's something different for sure. And I can see that working in a mid-century modern. $698 for the pair of chairs. And here's a decorative pillow that is quite interesting. I can see that in even a maybe a little bedroom area or on a bed. Sweet Dreams pillow. And let's see how much it is. It is $49.50. I love it. And now we're going to take a look at some of the fashion accessories and jewelry. I see a familiar China Baroque. And those yellow boxes. And that's Kendra Scott. Always take a look at jewelry when you're consignment shopping. This is my favorite repurposed China jewelry company based in Houston. It's China Baroque. This is from the early days. It's actually a piece of spode china that has been made into a bracelet and a pendant. And $33.60 is a really good deal. A lot off of retail. And Firefly has a pop of color. It is absolutely stunning. This bracelet is $80 today. And that's a very nice jewelry line that you find in upscale shops. The Kendra Scott rain necklace is classic, and that's a design that's been around for years. And Kendra Scott's actually from Houston. So a Texas designer at half price, $42, and it retails for $100. And here's a look at that Firefly bracelet. Of course, it had some inspirational words on the backside. And the China Baroque, that really is a lovely combination of the pink and green. And this is the rain necklace. The other is a different style. And that was her most popular. I have it in several different stones, including this one as well. But I paid retail. So this definitely is a smarter way to shop. Actually, I think I got it on a special event night when I was supporting my charity. And designer handbags are calling. I can't wait to show these to you. Oh, you're just going to love these. Mary Frances started her company in the 1990s in California. She wanted to have reasonably priced handbags that were absolutely stunning, and I think she achieved that. This is brand new. It's got the Kahlua pattern name on it. I paid $115. It is party perfect. The pink and green I have incorporated into birthday parties and celebrations. And this has, I'm sure, the original Mary Frances logo. Yes, they now have a different one. And this will be a nice addition to my handbag collection. Louis Vuitton is certainly a posh brand to add to the assortment here. And I'm thinking that you would probably go to five or more different stores to find the brands all under one roof. And that's another reason to shop the secondary market and this upscale consignment shop. That's a nice weekender. It's certainly arrive in style. Let's take a look at the price on that Louis Vuitton handbag. It is $514.50 now. And this journal is about the same price, $525. And it is new and comes with the original box. I understand the boxes are even worth something. I have quite a few in my garage in Germany that um, didn't need traveling back home. Perhaps I should sell them. This Mary Frances pop of color is just what you need with that little black dress. There's some top brands and everything comes with a certificate of authenticity if it is a true designer bag, such as the Louis Vuitton. And I can tell you that they're very expensive retail. I was in the Luxembourg store last spring and they're quite pricey. 
I did have champagne upstairs, so it was all worth it. And this one has gone down to $514. It's in very good condition, and that's definitely more affordable. You could be très chic with this lovely Eiffel Tower handbag by Timmy Woods. The price has gone down to $672. Not a lot of space, but you know, just lipstick and maybe a credit card and you're good to go for lunch or dinner. That's a neat bag. And some more Mary Frances finds. This is the sister bag to my clutch. And if the price goes down, if it's here in a month, I may take this one home as well. And if you're mother of the bride, this would be your handbag, Mary Frances for $40 that's a deal. Another designer I recently learned about through my friend Iman is Patricia Nash. And I like that it has a rustic and feminine look. This bag retails for over $400, $475, and the price today is $215. You can definitely get some deals on handbags at a consignment store. And I found another Mary Frances complete with a ticket. If you're going to the movies, you could certainly be stylish with the popcorn. And it's never been used. It's got the tag, it's called Butter Me Up. How cute is that? And it is $128. Let's take a look at some of these other handbags in the case behind me. I see a Dooney Burke that is brand new, never been used. And this would be a nice look for winter. Look at that. It's almost like a tote bag. And it is $158 for the first price. And it goes down every month. It stays on the shelf. A wristlet is quite practical, $53 for this Consuela, a popular Texas handbag designer. And that blue glitter is fun. And that's great for a day out shopping, hands-free. Michael Kors handbags, brand new with tags. That's the way to shop for gifts. And this Patricia Nash has that hand-tooled leather. You would know it from anywhere. And that clasp is sort of a secret lock. You have to open that and then your wallet pops open. You'll see that debossed logo, Patricia Nash. That's a really good price. And how about some red snakeskin, Michael Kors. And they always give you the retail price when they can. And I would say generally it's half price or less. That's a 400 retail and 178. Here's another Mary Frances. I've not seen this crossbody. I like the green shade. And that would go with so much, $40. I think that's a great deal. It's actually down to 32, even better. Crossbodies I do enjoy, especially for Europe, because you can be hands-free when you're walking a distance to get into a store. Dooney Burke, that's a nice one. I like that red color. And even if a handbag is used, I think it's absolutely fine to give as a gift. This one is down to $93.80. Especially if you know that your recipient enjoys that particular brand, I think that would be most welcome. And a lot of times you have a new with tag item. And I want to show you a few things before we look on to some other items here. The Gobel Nativity set, that is absolutely beautiful. I would love to have this. And it's of course sold as a set. It's down to $538.20. I'm sure this will sell quickly. It is a complete set with the crush as well. And it is made by the same company that makes the Hummels. And that is a very fair price. And Waterford Crystal, I see lots of snowmen. There's a marquee by Waterford Nativity set. And I think that the Dillard stores had an exclusive with some of the snowmen. And at $95, it's actually gone down to $85.50. It would have been probably $175 retail originally. And that marquee set, you don't have to have more than these three pieces. The Holy Family, I think that would be a great gift. And a lot of times they have the box, and they certainly do here. And that's gone down to $46. That's great. Again, under $50. And here's a Lismore frame. This is an eight by 10. And that makes a great wedding gift too. $66.60. And the vase in the center here is the first Waterford Society, the Penrose vase. And that was 250 retail. No, actually it was 195 retail back in 1995. It is with a box, $133.20. I've seen them go for a lot more.
So glad you joined me today for consignment shopping. And be sure to look in the video description for Stillgood's website and store information. And you could also shop online for local pickup. And as you can see, we didn't get to view everything in the store today. And there's so much more that we could cover in the new year. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with consignment shopping.